I'm Allie Lanning, hair and makeup artist, and I'm going to be painting on Lady here Sugar Skull Makeup. So I'm going to start out with my white eyeliner pencil and trace the shape of the eye. I'm just going to trace the outline of the eye shape, but it doesn't have to be perfect because this is just a guide. You're going to be painting with black. So this is color tattoo. I'm just going to use this as a base so that she has a little bit of color to paint on top of. Now I'm going in with a dark purple eyeshadow on top of the color tattoo to give her eye some dimension and depth. Okay, so now I'm just painting the rest of her face all white, leaving out the eyes where we outlined. I'm using white Mehron face paint. So now I'm taking a dark purple face paint and outlining the shading that we did on the eye. I'm then going to outline this with black and blend everything together. Okay, so now I'm gonna start going around the outside of the eye making little petal shapes. Now I'm gonna fill in the petals with this turquoise face paint color. Okay, so now I'm taking the same black face paint and I'm creating the rose at the top. Start by painting the middle of the rose and then go outward with the petals. Now I'm gonna take red face paint and fill in the colors of the petals. You could get really creative and paint the petals all different colors if you wanted. I'm also gonna do a keyhole in between the eyes. Okay, so when finishing your sugar skull, you basically just want to add in tiny details such as swirls and make sure that all your color is filled in. You can either do a skull nose or a spade nose or whatever kind of nose you like. I chose to do a spade nose with the double roses. If you want to go all out and really complete your sugar skull, you can add eyeliner and false lashes and it gives it that extra oomph. It gives the eyes more depth and definitely makes it look more glam. Whoa. Hi, my name is Lady and I'm also a makeup artist. You just saw Allie do her rendition of a traditional sugar skull on me and I am going to do something a little bit different. Um, the only thing I'm using is basically white paint, black paint, some black eyeshadow, and four brushes. And this actually can be used on guys as well because obviously guys aren't going to want to do this. So we're going to do a half skull on her. Like I'm just taking the white face paint, just really simple, and we're making a half mask on her face. And just kind of edge around her face and you can literally just fill all of this in. Is this the first time you've ever face painted? Okay, so remember this is a mask, so it's not supposed to look like an actual face. Uh, her whole entire face is a skeleton. So you just wanna outline it like you would, you know, any other mask. So now you just literally make it super easy and paint like a little blacked out nose. And that's why you made the V up there because a nose cavity has that nice little V. So now basically you just want to make a line where your teeth would be. And yes, this will tickle your model. Take it about halfway down her cheek and that's about it. 
Make sure you use actual face paint, like non-toxic face paint. That way when you're sticking this stuff in people's mouths, <laughs> you're not actually gonna kill them. Like now you just want to actually make a fake jawline. You do each side. Now we're gonna go in and start on the teeth. And this you're going to use a fine detail brush, something really small that makes tiny little lines. Okay, once you have your teeth lines done, just go back in and kind of detail it a little bit to where it looks more like teeth, like kind of round it at the corners and kind of edge up. This is just gonna make it look a little bit more realistic. So since this was a simpler look, um, I'm literally just using like an e.l.f. palette that you can get anywhere so that it's easier for you guys to pick up something. And just using the black one, that's it, just eyeshadow. Any black eyeshadow that's matte is gonna look, it's gonna look great. And all we're doing here is going in and shading areas. That's it. Okay, we have two final steps. Uh, this one is super fast and super easy. You literally just make some cracks. You can put them anywhere, really. Just like the skull. The final step to this is literally just taking your wipe and making the teeth over again. That way they stand out, and that's it. Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay, now that our makeup is done, uh, traditionally you would have a flower wreath on your head, so we're gonna show you how to make those really fast within like five minutes. Basically what we have down here, um, at any store, like craft store, they have these bags of flowers that will fall off of the flowers. You have to ask them for them. And they bag them up and they put them on sale for like a couple of dollars. And then you can get any kind of fabric, any kind of material you want and just literally, make a headpiece. Okay, so first we're gonna do, we're gonna take one of these, here you go, and you're going to pick out what flowers you want. Just flowers, a piece of fabric, and a hot glue gun. You're black and white, so you should probably be dark. So she, she would like pick out the dark flowers, and you just arrange them, and I'm gonna do some neon ones. And there's no rhyme or reason to this, nothing is wrong, nothing is right. When you have uh, any kind of Day of the Dead makeup on, it's literally whatever you want to do because it's gonna be just crazy looking anyways. So just go crazy with it. You probably should put some wax paper down before you do this. You have two really, 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 really fast flower wreaths. <laughs> Here's the finished product. It's half skull paint and then Day of the Dead and then we made our really quick flower wreaths. If you guys are ready for Halloween like we are, then you can take our tips. <laughs>